so hi friends good morning today we'll see some of the common feature that is usually required is that is we have downloaded the files to a particular location we need to process all the files what's a which server file is there read all the data from those files and then move the data to database and after that we move that to a particular archive location so let me create an integration services project and I'll give it a name process data okay and in terms of the data what we have is we have got two files here we want to process these flat files get the data from the files and move them and move this to this data to the database and after the processing is done move these files to archived location so here in let me create the rename this package and process files so in this I'll take data plotters The data plotters. Sorry, I'll take a uh, for each loop container because what I want is I want to process all the files at from a particular location, and after this I'll have a, a file system task, which I'll again place in the for each loop later on. So let me take a data flow task in this and in the for each loop container what I want is it should pick the data from particular location. So what I'll do is I'll create two variables. And I want that it should be here. One is dir and other one is fire. Let's copy this one and this is the string and this one is also string. And here the location is that is get all the files from this particular location. So I just copy this and put the value here. Mark this to be automated. Okay, now in the data in for each loop, I right click on this and select properties. Click on edit, and in this, I can set some of the properties. The very first one is collections, that is, first one is basically expressions. Now I can it will be enumerating a folder. I can put the folder here and kind of files I want here maybe start.txt and other option is here in I'll take the expression which is directory to be enumerated which would be this particular expression which is nothing but C colon DIR files for each, which means that enumerate through all the files which are there. And what I want is after it has enumerated through this, I want that the corresponding files should be captured in file name. Click on OK. And in the data flow task, what I want is it should take the source which is nothing but a flat file. Let me take the flat file and move it to SQL Server destination or OLEDB destination. Connect them. 
in the flat file source I make a connection manager I specify which will be the connection manager click on new browse and for each let's say any of the files we can take we have taken the first file data f.txt and column names in the first data row this is okay click on columns we can see name age income and gender click on advanced it will show all the name age etc as the string columns we can ask him to suggest us the types so SSIS will have a look at the data and it will let us know what, is, what should be the type of corresponding column click on ok so it tells us ok name should be maybe string column age should be uh, 8 point side integer and so on income and gender and know that age can contain more number of characters so let's make it 50 and click on ok and we can click on columns to preview click on ok and similarly we can go to OLEDB destination we can create a new connection so I create a new connection and I already have a database named it's taking some time See the service is running. So let me start the service. Database, let me select again. Start coming. We can do there. We have the census now. Click on OK and click on OK. What I want is I want to create a new table and a name gender based income or maybe make it just income okay click on ok and it takes that where chat data type begin begin and where chat data type and I can see the mappings as well. uh, maybe click on ok and I can click on the mappings and see that how the data is moving click on ok now the thing is here in I'll be getting this very first time it runs it takes the first file and here in it will run for the first file now it comes here so what I want is in this particular connection it should take the connection as the file which has been sent from here the name which has been sent which is available in this particular variable uh, view variable that is the file name variable Okay, so I go to the data flow, close it for the timing, and in the this particular connection manager, we'll have some of the settings like we got this connection string, which is as of now it is data hyphen f dot txt. So let me just delete it, and I want that this particular connection should come from by making use of this expression, so which is nothing but this property. 
uh, connection string and it is nothing but out here as a file name click on ok click on ok okay and they are basically they we have done it now so let me say execute for the time being and then we'll see the, the second part afterwards right click and say execute the package there should be a window So let me say execute the package now. And it goes there, it's running. Let's see how it does it. It has done it now. So let's go to the seeker server and verify the results. Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. database which is census and we should have a table named income select top thousand rows okay we have got the data for females but have we got any data for males the result should contain both, both of them name let's say count star number gender and in the end I'll say to buy click on F5 so we will see we can see that it has got the data for from both the files now let's say we want to move all the files after the processing has been done to um, to archive folder this one archive so what we'll do is we'll have a task here data process task or maybe file system task now this particular one what it will do is it can it can do multiple operations copy files copy directory create directory and delete directory delete files and so on move directory move file rename file and so on so we'll say move file which is the connection out here now the problem here is basically uh, we can have a flat file connection manager or we can specify this particular one is contained in particular variable source variable that is where we will say that this is nothing but user file name and in the destination connection we create another connection 
which will map to the destination path. But, but the problem is this one gets populated here and with each iteration it gets changed. So what I need to do is Maybe file system task is and here in I'll say new connection or maybe new variable add a variable destination directory. Here in I'll say edit, copy the file. Is the source path variable? Yes, true. And what is it? It's user file name. And what is the destination connection? Is it variable? Yes, destination variable is destination directory. And here in I'll say is move the file. Click on OK. Variable file name is used as a source or destination is empty. Edit. Here it says that you are using the file name, but as of now, this particular file name is empty. So, what we can do is in F4. This is a property delay validation. We make it true. Means that this we know that this will get populated at runtime only. So let me say run it again. Before that, let me truncate the data. Now let's see how it works like exit with the package. Oh, it has been done. So let's go there. Now this particular R the files have been moved and let's see if the data has been processed. Yes, it has been done. So thanks. Thanks for watching guys.